Hey guys, it's Keith Brown in Tack Room Devotional again, and I just tell you, I am so excited about the Word of God, the Kingdom of God, what Christ has done for you and I, and I'm so excited about having the opportunity to share all this with you. So thanks for coming and keep checking out these videos. You know, I want to pick up where we left off the last time. I said something like this. I said, it's been said that we are not human beings having a supernatural experience, but we are supernatural beings having a human experience. In other words, what I mean by that, you know, Jesus said, it's an evil and perverse generation who seeks after signs and wonders. For us to, to, to be here on earth, looking up and begging God to do something to fix whatever it is that we're going through to help us in our situation uh, and our trial, uh, that means we're looking for a, a, a sign or a wonder or a miracle. I need a miracle today. But what you and I need to do is we need to recognize what God has done for us, wh how, what he's made us. And we're going to look at some of that today, what he's made us, what he's done for us, so that we don't have to look for a sign and a wonder, but we can go right here on the inside and know that it's already been taken care of. Watch this. In Romans chapter 8, the Bible says, Yet in all these things, verse 37, Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. We're not just conquerors, guys. We are more than conquerors. That's like you and I go, going into a pen, whether it's roping or cutting or whatever. We go in there and we win every time. We're, we're a winner before we ever even enter the pen. That's who we are in Christ Jesus in the kingdom of God. We are more than conquerors. Why don't we live up to that? Look in John chapter, first John, I'm sorry, the epistle of John, chapter 5. The Bible says this, whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. Okay, now make sure you, you, you understand it. If you believe that Jesus is the Christ, you're born of God. In other words, you're born again, right? Now if you jump down to verse 4, it says, for whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. Okay, it doesn't say may overcome the world, it says overcomes the world. Jesus says this in John chapter 16, verse 33. He says, I tell you these things that in me you will have peace. In this world you'll have tribulation. Be of good cheer, I've overcome the world. And then here it tells us in 1 John chapter 5 that if we believe in Jesus Christ, that we too are world overcomers. Wow. Do you know the Bible tells us that he has made us more than conquerors? He's made us world overcomers. He's made us partakers of his divine nature. He's made us partakers of Christ. He's made us his righteousness. He's made us uh, um, the, the very fragrance of Christ to God. And it goes on and on and on. All the things that God has done in order to make us more than conquerors and world overcomers and all these things. And yet we still think that uh, on this lower level that that we don't have anything to do with this we're just still begging God to do something for us and yet he's already done it and now he wants us to live that out he wants Christ's life to be lived out through us when Jesus says that he came that we might have life and life more abundant that's what he's talking about if we'll allow his life to be lived out through us we will see the abundant life it's not it's not big trucks and trailers and houses and, all, and more horses. It's about peace and joy and righteousness and sanctification and justification and salvation and all these things that pertain to the kingdom of God. We are more than conquerors. We are world overcomers. Let's live up to that. Let's not keep seeking God for some kind of a miracle, but let's live out what's been given to us. Let's be more than conquerors and world overcomers. Let's be uh, supernatural beings having a human experience and enjoy it. <laughs> hey, we love you. Jesus loves you. We pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him. See you tomorrow.